God bless you. So today we're going to go into Psalms. We're going to spend some time praising God. Focusing on the goodness of God. Now, I'm going to have to apologize in advance because I may struggle with this study. I am somewhat indisposed in my ability to move at the minute. I'm in lots and lots of aches and pains. Though the flesh be weak, it is God that makes us strong, and this is a day to God. All days dedicated to our Father in heaven. Let not the weakness of the flesh get in the way of our time with God. So we will praise him and thank him. For we will count it all joy in all trials. So we will trust in him. Call on his name. That he be with us. As we pray and give thanks. As we come to study his words. Come into Psalm chapter 67. And we shall begin. In Psalm chapter 67. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah, that thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God, Let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth, Selah. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the the ends of the earth shall fear him. Praise be the Lord. For we are to fear God and keep the commandments. For that is man's all. Oh, may we joyously seek him. While he may yet be found. Though we go through many different trials and struggles and hardships. Stop and know that God is in control of all. Call on him to guide you and strengthen you. That you can endure the hardships that you do go through. That you can overcome all difficulty. But God is there with you. Every step of the way. Be courageous and be of good cheer. For though you go through tribulation. Jesus overcame the world. So now let's go to Psalm 23. And across to Psalm 23 we shall begin. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise be, O God. He is the good shepherd. We shall not want, for he provides all that we need. And in our need, he is there for us. O call on him 
when you are weak. Call on him when you are weary. Call on him when you are worried. He's there for you. He is your father in heaven. And as a father, come to him as a little child. And he will care for you. He will nurture you. He will take care of you. Trust in him. And now to Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. <clears throat> Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path. Because of mine enemies, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait. I say on the Lord. Ah, oh, be patient. Call upon him, trust in him, and seek him every day of your life. Don't let the world get in the way of your time with God. Seek him, that he shine upon you, that you learn from him, and follow his statutes. Oh, that he wash us clean of all iniquity that he guide us and strengthen us, that he teach us, that we learn from him. Oh, that we turn from the world and live in the spirit, not in the flesh. For the flesh is an enmity with the spirit. And the flesh hungers for all the things of the world. And every time you get one thing, it then wants something else on top, and then another, and then another, and then another. And you realize you spent far too long away from God. Seek Him first, and all that you need will be provided for. Let not the world make you tired nor weary, but find peace and joy in God, for He will give you nourishment, for this book is true nourishment. Study your Bibles intently. And now to Psalm 63. <clears throat> o 
O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee, in a dry and thirsty land, where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Oh dear, sorry. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Every one that sweareth by him shall glory. But... The mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. O oh, look upon God's goodness, his loving kindness, his mercy, and all the love he showers upon us. He gives us all that we need, and we focus and meditate on his ways the God-centered life, looking to him for our strength, for it is in our weakness that he makes us strong. Without him we can do nothing, but with him all is possible. The Holy Spirit that worketh in us, it leads us to all truth. It reminds us of all the verses that we learn from them and be guided by them. He gives us our strength. Now we come to Psalm chapter 50. The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion the perfection of beauty God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness. For God is judge himself, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in thy day of trouble, and I will deliver thee, 
and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentedest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such, and one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. O oh, call unto God. Praise him and seek him daily. When you are on your day to day doing all that you need to do in each day, think on God as you do it. Be joyous and thankful that he gives you the strength to do as you can do. For all is God's, and all that we have is because of his kindness. So give thanks for all that you have. And be joyous in him. And trust in him. And be at peace. He is your strong arm. He is your shield and your buckler. Your fortress. Your place of safety. Your salvation. Stand on the cornerstone of faith. Built in Christ. So that you can stand steadfast. So that you do not stand with the wicked nor partake of wickedness. But that you stand for God. To think on all the good and all the pure things. To look upon his guidance and his counsel. For he will strengthen you. And when you are in need call on him and he will deliver you. He's there to be with you in your day of trouble. And you see what's coming ahead. And there will be much trouble upon this earth. But we will not be shaken, nor will we be moved. For we stand steadfast on the cornerstone of faith. And we will trust in him to guide. Him to strengthen. Him to deliver. And we will not shrink back. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father but through the Son. So we will call on him to guide us every step of the way. So let's go on to Psalm 34. Now Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him, 
The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Ah, oh, what a wonderful thing. The greatness of God before all. Same as when you do ministry. You see the greatness of God and how he works in the lives. That's why it's so important that we pray for one another. We pray together for each other. With all love, with all gentleness, with all compassion. Loving one another as ourselves. Loving God with all our heart, our mind and all our strength and spirit. And you'll see the greatness of God working in your lives. And all that he does. It's his greatness. And we praise him for all he does for us. Even in what little I do here. I have seen many how their lives have miraculously changed since adding them to the prayer lists. And it is a humbling thing to see the goodness of God working so greatly in their lives, bringing others to faith. And it is for that that we keep preaching and that we keep doing what good we can, while we can, because we can. They have not stopped the word of God being spoken. But one day there will be a famine of the word. And until that day, we will keep spreading the gospel to all. That all have a chance to know God. That all can find faith. That all may find salvation. God is good. And he wishes none to be lost. He is patient and his love endure forever. Many of us have been stuck in iniquity and sin for many, many years. But he's been patient and waiting. That we can see the error and turn as the prodigal son. And when one realizes and comes back. Knowing that we be unworthy, he embraces us with all love and all joy. Trust in God and know that he is good. Be encouraged this day and trust in God every step of the way. God bless you all.